Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking a first response. Um, I'm actually 11 DPO today and while we're waiting for this to run through, as soon as I dip it, I will go through the chart with you guys. I use the Fertility Friend app. It's a free app that you can find on Google Play and put it on your phone. So that's what I use to track my cycles and today I am 11 DPO. So I'm going to go ahead and start dipping the test and then run through um, all my symptoms with you that I had this cycle. I definitely have a lot of them, but I did take a couple tests before and they've been all negative up until now. So you guys are going to get to see the results for my 11 DPO with me today. I do have some pregmate tests, but I wanted to go with the more sensitive first response just in case. I don't want to miss anything. First response claims to track a HCG level of 6, however they measure it, milligrams or something. And the pregmate doesn't track until 25. So first response is definitely more sensitive. So that is running through as you can see. So we're gonna let that sit for three minutes and I'll run through the app with you guys while we wait for that. So this cycle, I know I say this every couple months, it seems like I have a very crazy cycle, but this one by far has been the worst one because as you can see here, this is today, Monday, so I'm 11 DPO today. And that's the day the green highlighted one is the one I ovulated. I started spotting, well, let's start with this. These two, um, 19 and 20th, I was cramping. And I thought it was all in my head. I wasn't sure if I was really feeling the cramping or it was in my head, but it was definitely confirmed that I was feeling cramping because the two days following that, I started spotting. It was like light brown spotting, not too much. Um, so I was hoping that definitely was not the start of my period because 6 DPO would be the earliest that has ever happened. So then the day after that, it cleared away. I th think I still had cramping. I'm not sure, but I definitely didn't have any spotting that cleared away again. But then I noticed Saturday, I had a little bit of spotting again. Yesterday I had no spotting. Maybe a little bit residual from Saturday, but definitely not enough to mark it as spotting. And today in the morning, I counted it as not spotting just because it's the same thing. Um, it's like a tiny little bit when I wipe, but it's not enough to call it spotting. It's not getting on my underwear. I don't need like a liner or a pad or anything like that. So where we stand now, I am about two days away from my period that highlighted white box is the day I'm supposed to get my period. Let's go down here. It usually tells me. Yeah, three days left. So I'm supposed to get my AF on Thursday. And this is where we stand. Um, I've just had back and forth spotting. Yesterday I was definitely feeling crampy. Like I expected my period to be here um, this morning with the amount of cramping that I had. Very similar to the menstrual cramps. So, but there's no AF yet, and that spotting happens at 6 DPO, and they say that implantation can happen 6 to 10 DPO, so that would kind of fit the window, but it's kind of weird how it's been back and forth. So that's why I have been testing, uh, but like I said, they've all been completely negative. Here is my temperature. Sorry, the audio cut out on that last part. I was just showing you guys my temperature charts and how the last three days it's been lingering at 98.8. And it's been pretty steady this whole cycle so far. So it is definitely time to look at the test. I have it right here and I will show it to the, the camera lens first. And I'm looking at it as well from the camera lens. So I'm going to try to focus it as best as possible and then take a closer look my own self.
from the camera I'm not seeing anything since it started so early at 60 dpo at 11 dpo I feel like I should be seeing something by now especially with first response being the most sensitive so I don't know what's going to be the end of this cycle I'm starting to lose hope that it is pregnancy but you never know it might still be too early all right, let me take a closer look. All right, so I'm going with that this first response is negative at 11 DPO, but please come back tomorrow. I'm going to take another first response at 12 DPO tomorrow morning, bright and early. Um, and if you are new to my channel, um, my story is that in 2013, after we had my daughter, I got a tubal ligation. And then five years after that tubal ligation, I was actually pregnant again. It was confirmed by the hospital I went to, but I was heavy bleeding and it ended up in an early miscarriage. Um, I had the pregnancy confirmed with the hospital's pregnancy test and through blood work, but in the ultrasound they did, they couldn't really see anything. So I had already passed um, whatever was growing or it was just too small to see on the ultrasound but it was a confirmed miscarriage my hcg levels went down but we never really know where the pregnancy was it could have been ectopic it could have been where it was supposed to be in the uterus but that's why i like to start testing really early because i am at risk for an ectopic because we don't really know what went wrong with my tubal ligation so anytime that i get pregnant it could be that it's in my tubes and not actually in my uterus so if i ever do get a positive pregnancy test it's very important and urgent for me to go get seen by a doctor so that they can check and make sure everything is in the correct place and not in, a, not in my fallopian tubes which would require an emergency um, either surgery depending how far along it is or they give you a pill or a shot or something to just clear everything away so fingers crossed that never happens but um but that's why i do start and like to start testing early just to make sure that everything is going as planned um, all that happened about two years ago so it's been a while since we've been TTCing after that um, after that happened it kind of left us wanting another baby right now we have a son and a daughter and I kind of regret getting the tubal ligation but I can't really change that and I'm not interested in getting a reversal or anything like that um, so we've just been trying naturally to conceive and hoping that it does happen for us. But if it doesn't happen, we already have two kids we're grateful for at the same time. So two years ago, that's when that happened. So we've been TTCing off and on again for about two years. Um, I stopped tracking what cycle number we're on because we did take a break as well from TTCing a while ago. So yeah. Yeah, this one is negative. So we'll be back tomorrow for 12 DPO. It's the best we can do unless AF arrives. The day AF arrives, I'll probably do a little update where I just won't post any more pregnancy tests for that month. So you guys will know that AF arrived, but I'll probably do an update. So see you guys tomorrow.